Well, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the scent of a wife. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining in this week. My name is Shaunika Renee and I am the visionary, the, the vessel that God has blessed and has chosen to run this ministry to help, you know, women. Um, again, the scent of a wife. Scent is an acronym for secret consecration for an Esther's noble transformation. And if you've been tuning in, you know that the scent of a wife, our mission is threefold. So the mission is first to help prepare you to be the wife God wants you to be, is to help prepare you to be the wife you want to be, and to help prepare you to be the wife your husband needs. So again, our mission is threefold. Thank you so much for joining in today, for watching, for tuning in. As you can tell, this week's presentation video is a little different. You don't see me in the flesh, but you hear my voice and I wanted to teach. I wanted to teach today about discovering yourself. The theme of this week is us learning ourselves because as we know, ladies, the more we know about ourselves, the more we know who we are, what we are, what we have to offer to the world, the better wives we will be to our husbands because no one wants to be married to someone who doesn't know themselves. Every man, every woman even, wants a spouse. If you are a woman, you want your husband to know who he is. And if you are a man, you definitely want your, your wife to know who she is. So today, in alignment with discovering ourselves, we want to complete a SWOT analysis. Now, a SWOT analysis is a very familiar term in the business world. We know that SWAT stands um, is an acronym and it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go through each category and we are going to take a time where you all have a chance to take an inventory of yourselves. There's nobody watching you. You know, you're the only one. If you're watching in a group, thank you so much. But everyone still has their piece of paper in front of them. And we want to take some time to do an honest inventory of who we are an honest, an honest inventory of those things that we're really good at and then those things that we can improve and none of us are perfect so all of us should have something in each category so let's start with strengths so the s in swat is for strengths now a strength is defined as a source of power or force so everyone has strengths an example of a strength um, some people can be very strong writers some people can be very strong encouragers they have a great gift of exhortation so that could be a strength for you so right now what i want each of us to do is to take the time to list out three of our strengths at least three okay so we're going to take the time now And as you go through, you know, and list these strengths, you'll see, you know, that you, you really have a lot to offer to the world. Okay. Hope everyone is doing okay today on this beautiful day, the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. I am so grateful to be with you all again today. So we're listing out three of our strengths. All right. And you all can go back if you're not finished. You can, you know, take time, write it down and go back to list out, you know, if you need to. Um, and then the next category that we are that we have is 
weaknesses. So now a weakness is defined as a personal defect or failing. So again, a weakness is defined as a personal defect or failing. Again, we are not, um, you know, women who are so high and mighty and puffed up in ourselves that we don't believe that there are areas that we can improve. So all of us have weaknesses that we can identify here. So we want to identify those areas that could be personal defects or failings that we want to improve. So we're going to take time now to list out three of our weaknesses. And you can list out more if you want, but list out at least three weaknesses that you have. And this is all going to tie in together in our SWOT analysis. So next we have opportunities. So an opportunity is defined as a chance for progress or advancement. Again, an opportunity is defined as a chance for progress or advancement. So in regards to your individual life, an opportunity is something that you have that you can leverage or that you can use to advance yourself or maybe, you know, to have progress. So what's an example of an opportunity, Shanika? So an example for an opportunity for your individual life is that maybe you have always had that innate ability and gift of singing, but you never really honed in on it. You never really did anything with it. You know, you know that you can sing, but you never really you know, try to advance that gift or really work on that gift. Well, that can be listed as an opportunity because as we know that whatever gifts God has blessed us with, we all have layers of gifts that we have been blessed with by the Lord Most High. So as we discover these gifts, these are opportunities for us to not only progress and advance in our walk with the Lord, but for us to progress and advance in helping others, for us to progress and advance even in the area of finances. So there are a lot of things that a lot of us have down within us that have been given to given to us that have been placed within us that's an opportunity for us to grow that's an opportunity for us to become better people so now we want to take a t um a few seconds um to list out three of our opportunities within our individual lives All right, and last but not least, we have threats. So a threat is defined as an indication of impending danger or harm. Again, a threat is defined as an indication. Indication is key here of impending danger or harm. So a threat is that thing that has not yet manifested, that has not yet come to pass, but it's an indication that something could be dangerous or harmful to our lives. So you may say, well, how, what is in a threat in my individual life? Well, let me give you an example, prime example right now of threats that could be in your life is we're all, we all know and aware of COVID-19. Well, a threat in our individual lives is if we don't stay in the face of the Lord. 
If we don't continually pray, if we're not reading our word, if we're not fasting, if we as women are not girding ourselves up and making sure that we stay in that place of prayer, then a threat to our lives is where peace, our peace is robbed. Our peace is taken from us. You know, if you are a wife in waiting and you're like, God, you know what? I believe my husband is coming. You know, he's coming. He's coming. And you allow for the cares of this world, the worries of this world, where every time you turn on the TV, something else is happening. And you're like, oh, my goodness. If you don't stay in the face of the Lord, that thing that's happening right now, this world that we're living in could threaten your peace and your assurance that the Lord is Go working in your behalf that the Lord has your husband there. So an example of a threat could be, you know, that if you don't stay in the face of the Lord, then your peace is, is taken from you. Another threat could be, you know, maybe you are the type of person where me, I know, for example, I'll be transparent during this time of quarantine and self-isolation. I'm having to really watch my diet because I'm already, you know, fluffy and fine. So I have to make sure that I don't just sit around and eat all day. So that's a threat for me that if I overeat and I'm and if I mindlessly eat, then I get into a place where I become physically, you know, really, really, really unhealthy. And that's not where I want to be. So we want to take time to list out three threats. You all are doing amazing so far. I'm so proud of you all. Keep going. Keep going. I know that it's not always easy to identify areas that, you know, aren't good about ourselves, but we definitely can do this. All right. Now, last but not least, it's putting it all together. So the cool thing about a SWOT analysis, and this is where companies use in the business world, companies use the SWOT analysis to leverage those things that they are strong in, those areas of opportunities to help improve the other areas. So when you put it all together, your strengths You actually want to use your strengths to help leverage your weaknesses. So let me give you an example. So let's say that you list it out that you have a strength um, like, okay, for one, for me, an example, a strength for me is that I'm a great writer. I love to write. Okay. Now a weakness for me, as I stated, I think I stated is that I sometimes can't procrastinate. (laughs) So that's a weakness, right? So the way I can use my strength of being able to write to help to improve my weakness of procrastination is I may write out my day. So I don't have to be so rigid to where I don't allow for things to come up and I don't allow for life to happen. But as a writer, if I take the time to chart out my day, to journal out my day, to write out my day, then that helps me not to procrastinate because Once more than likely, most people are once they see something in front of them and they're like, you know what? I wrote this out. Let me go ahead and try to stick to the schedule. I may not do that the first time. I may not do that the second time. But eventually, the more I look at this schedule that's in the front of me, the more likely I am that I'm going to go ahead and attack and be productive with the schedule that I have created. Okay. now the next kind of category And I say kind of categories because you can go up, down, um, you can go across diagonal, but I'm choosing just to go directly across um, because that's the more traditional way that this model is used. So with your opportunities, your opportunities, if you're not careful, your threats will eat into your opportunities. So if you don't address your threats and things that threaten who you are, excuse me, as a person, then they can encroach upon and they can delete 
and eat up opportunities. So what you want to do is you want to be proactive and you want to use those opportunities, those gifts, those talents, those desires that have been lying dormant in you, those areas of opportunities. You want to use those to help to overcome your threats. So again, if like, for example, if like I say, you are a singer and that's really an opportunity for you. You never really, you know, looked into that. And a threat for your life is that, you know, if you don't stay busy and you don't stay in the face of the Lord, you allow for idle time. You know, um, the the saying goes that an idle mind is a devil's workshop, right? So if you stay idle in a place of idleness and you don't do anything and you get up every day. Oh, I used that double negative. Don't do anything. Um, no, it's not double negative. I say anything. Anyway, talking out loud. Um, but if you do not do anything all day and then you allow for the thoughts of your mind to creep in and creep in and creep in, that's a threat to your peace. That's a threat to you resting in assurance that you have all things that you need and that God is working on your behalf. So you take an opportunity and you say, you know what? I have this gift that I really haven't expounded upon. I have this gift. Some people have the gift of prayer. Some people have a gift of studying the word of the Lord. Some people have a gift of singing. Some people have, like I said, a gift of exhortation. Some people have a gift of meditation. All these things Although you can definitely work on them, some people are just naturally gifted at these things. So you take your opportunities and you say, you know what? I am going to help myself with ensuring that my opportunities overshadow my threats. And as you all do this SWOT analysis, ladies, um, I've done it for myself a couple of times, which is why. Um, I believe that God laid it on my heart to do it with us today is because I've seen the tremendous value that it brings to my life. And if you want to be honest, your SWOT analysis may vary and may look differently depending upon where you are in life. So I can't remember my SWOT analysis when I was 18, but because I know I'm not the same person now that I was when I was 18, I can almost guarantee you that my SWOT analysis looked very differently than what it would look today, what it would look like today. So I'm saying that to say, don't be afraid to do this SWOT analysis today and then revisit it in a month and then maybe revisit it in six months from now. Because as you discover yourself, as you learn yourself, ladies, what you're going to see is that you have evolved, is that you have changed. You may even see where something that was a weakness in an area is now a strength. You may see that something that maybe used to threaten who you were, threaten your livelihood, your productivity, your self-esteem, those things that used to be threats, now you have learned how to turn them into opportunities. So you have learned that the Bible says what? That he'll trade our ashes for beauty. So you have learned how to trade in the threats and make them opportunities. So this is a tool, a very simple easy, reflective tool that you all can use going forward. And wrapping up, what have we learned? So what have you learned today? I hope that you've learned at least, you know, two things about yourself that maybe you knew, but now you're ready to face. And also, I want you to remember that you are God's magnificent creation. You are the apple of the Lord's eye. God loves you with an unending love. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The Lord loves you. He shines his light upon you. You are his daughter. So know that. Continue to learn yourself, ladies. Take this time, like I said, as step one. Maybe you all if you're listening, maybe you've been doing some self-evaluation and discovering yourself. Well, continue on the path. And then also just simply become better and better every day. If you are already a wife, if you are a wife to be a wife in waiting is like I, is what I like to say, then 
as you become better and better every day, you learn that, you know what, maybe that's why I'm a wife in waiting. It's because I didn't really know the value that I brought to the world. I didn't really understand who I was. And now that I do, I see why God has me waiting. Because he wants me to meet that right man. He wants me to meet that right man that will embrace who I am, that will know who I am. Just as I know who I am, he will know who I am. Because let me give you a nugget, ladies. Men, and anybody for that matter, A person can't know who you are fully if you don't know who you are. That's something that we can all take as a nugget here. That the first way that someone knows who you are is by you knowing yourself. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in today. Again, this is The Scent of a Wife. I am Shauna Karine, and I can be reached via email at Ministries at gmail.com. You can reach out to me there for booking engagements, speaking engagements, um, counseling, coaching, whatever your needs are, and we will talk, converse, I'll pray to the Lord, and we will go from there and see what the Lord says. You can always reach out to me on phone as well. Phone number is area code 470-236-2189. Again, that's area code 470-236-2189. Thank you all so much and have a great day. I'll see you all next week and next week I'll be back on the camera. So thank you all and have a great day. Hey, don't forget about the first point. S stands for strength. Forget about the second point, W stands for weakness. Hey, don't forget about the third point, O stands for opportunities. Hey, don't forget about the last point, T 